Well, this really is the king of dozers. At the time, this was the largest dozer ever made. Um, this is a D11N. This thing weighs 225,000 pounds. This blade is like 22 feet wide. It's like eight feet tall. It'll push 45 yards at one shot. That's what's so amazing about these dozers. It's all about horsepower. And we need it here in the Yukon because we're ripping up permafrost. If you take the ripper and you apply 225,000 pounds of force on a ripper tooth that's four inches wide with 800 horsepower, it just digs and rips up that permafrost, rips it up in huge chunks and then you push it off. And that's the main goal is because we have to get rid of this permafrost, get down to the pay gravel and down to bedrock where the gold is. This is your operator station. So as you can see, you're about 14 feet off the ground. You have really limited visibility. And I'm watching out for camera guys. It's my biggest fear. Because the camera guys that we work with are good. They're young men, but they want the best shot. They're ambitious, and they want their shot in the show. And what they'll do is take risks. And that scares the crap out of me, because I'm running this machine and have very limited visibility. You have such little eye contact with what you're doing that it's just a matter of feel. You feel the machine. It's all about experience. It's all about the number of hours you sat in the seat. And so consequently, there's only two guys on our crew that run this machine. But it's so difficult to run that it's just Andy and I that run this one. It really does make me realize how blessed I am to be gold mining in the Yukon. I've been running machinery now for, gosh, 42 years. So 42 years and I finally get to run a D11. It's pretty fun. <laughs>